So I got a um, ECU and the stickers all rubbed off. And so I thought I'd show you how you could kind of sort of figure out what you got. So you just take out the screws. There's one center and one in each corner. There we go. And so, uh, kind of real quick thing you want to do is uh, zoom into this area here. And so that's kind of your key here. I'll tilt this up so you can see that. So this is a 02D011F0-1500. So the 11F0 in the middle, right over here, um, kind of is the key to telling you what you got there. Um, so you can kind of look around the internet for that stuff. Um, and I happen to know this is out of 95 Civic Automatic. And so uh, one cool thing is it's all ready to be, it will take chips. You can see it's uh, got the silhouettes here and stuff to tell you how to chip it out. Um, and what I'm going to do here is focus in on this area. And what we're looking at, let me tilt it up. Let me see if I can get my light in the right direction. So when I tilt it up, you can see. I'll zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so some things we're looking for is this this slot here. Well, actually, I'll start with these two. This is telling me that it's uh, an, uh, let's see, this is uh, for the transmission. I believe this is setting it up for automatic transmission. And I believe this one up here is for, uh, for if it's a VTEC. So that sounds right. Let's see here. Sometimes there'll be a, a chip here for the VTEC, but this one, these two are for your automatic. So if this was a manual, there wouldn't be any chips here. If it was a VTEC, there'd be a chip there, and possibly a chip here. So that's a couple things you can look for. Um, this is not how to a tutorial how to chip out your ECU because there's more way more to it than this. But you can convert these things from manual to Five speed. Um, you could add VTEC to this. Um, you'd have to look up a little things. Well, one thing I would like to know, which I th would be cool if this is this way, is see if it shows up on here or not. Let's see the. Is I'm curious if. Oops. Curious if these. Uh, chips if they're all the same because if they were that'd be cool if you were to trying to like it'd be fun to convert this to a five speed VTEC and I think you could just pull these out and put one here and possibly need to put one here if they're the same um, same uh, I don't know if they're really transistors but they're the same IC units um, then that would be a step in being able to have free parts for converting one of these but anyway, so I thought I'd, maybe this will help somebody out, and uh, and the real interesting stuff after you got the ECU the way you want it is all in this area here. Um, this is where you put your uh, your custom mapping. This is like a buffer for your custom mapping, just to make it interface well. And there's some jumpers up here. Some of the stuff down here plays into whether you're manual or automatic, also. Um, you got to put a couple of capacitors in there and there and put like a jumper up there. Um, but anyways, there's, I've got other videos showing how to chip these out. So, anyways, the big thing I wanted to show is if you're missing that sticker, again, you can focus on those numbers up top here. That'll get you a big, kind of telling you if it's ODB1, ODB2, or what you're dealing with. And then you can tell what layout you have based on... Uh, what ICs you have in place, and again, this one's you can tell it's an automatic non VTEC. Anyways, that's it. Hope that helps somebody out.